One of the things that people would do in the old times is uh, keep their old sheets and pillowcases and repurpose them. So I found um, a time capsule and I gave away, I took pictures of everything and I gave away everything. Really cool stuff. 1949 and 1956. But I found remnants that you know, I'm sure nobody else would want. And I thought I had been wanting remnants, but a lot of my old sheets wear out completely and they're made of polyester anyway. So these are more, they each have a different feel, but I'm thinking they're mostly cotton. Some of them have, looks like sweat stains or something. And they're the ends, like you can see that they're sewn. So I'm going to look at each piece. I just, um, they smell okay, but uh, naphthalene flakes, I think, were used to preserve them. So I washed them all just in ordinary commercial liquid uh, detergent. And then I put um, borax in there and uh, vinegar as a rinse. So they, let me smell they don't really smell like very much. I let them soak for um, a little bit too. So I'm going to inspect all of them, lay them out, and then I'm going to cut them into little pieces. Now, there's various things that I can use them for. I don't know if any of this is linen, but I did get one piece of linen that's upstairs and it's never been used before. So I'll use that for something else. But depending, um, you can use remnants uh, cut into lots of little, I don't know what this one is, it's darker. That's, that will probably be for cutting into um, larger squares for scrubbing and washing and, you know, rags. But a lot of these are nice and white looking and they're soft and I do things like um, when we have a, an injury or something, I use Swedish, Swedish bitters and right now my material is probably more like a polyester but you're supposed to use um, uh, flannel these are not flannel but cotton in other words thicker cotton so and I have this idea I read this thing I think I saw it on uh, YouTube where instead of using toilet paper all the time because we are getting cleaner we're not entirely detox but the cleaner you are, the just easier it is. It's, I guess it's not a nice topic, but cleaning yourself. So you know that we have um, a kind of a diaper pail that when you have uh, babies. When you're not just using the disposable and you want to be washing them, you just use them and throw them in, I guess, water with something or just water. And then you just wash them all later. So I may do certain kinds of squares and try that, see if it works out. I mean, we go through a lot of toilet paper. I have a feeling my husband is actually squeamish. Um, so, and I'm not really, well, I saw, actually I caught him drinking from a bottle. I told him before not to do that. Now that makes me really squeamish. <laughs> I asked them not to do that, but certain things make certain people squeamish, um, and maybe that would. But anyways, I'm gonna do um, uh, rags for cleaning, so I don't have. I could just re-clean things, and when they get really, really worn out with big holes and they're falling apart, then I can throw it away. But these are still good, and then uh, we use paper towels a lot, so I'm gonna cut the size for paper towels and start doing that and just when they're used put them in I'm gonna have to have a few of these pails around and start washing things and making maybe a certain size so I know what they're I can identify what they're for but I got quite a lot here to work with and they're in big pieces so I'm gonna I might cut them and sew the edges so we'll see that way when I wash them they'll stay nicer longer but um yeah, it almost reminds me of that Bible there I've got open. Something about, um, the Lord was talking about 
uh, preserving or keeping his remnant. I don't know. So, yeah, that's what people used to do. And I suppose in answer to prayer, I got out of this time capsule such a lot of neat things. I gave them all away except for these so-called remnants that nobody else would want. But I want them, and I want to try. There's various ways to get off the grid and various grids. And one of them is the addiction that I guess or dependency I have for toilet paper and paper towels, which is just crazy. So we'll see. Uh, see if it works out.